What's going on Grand Junction? My name is Whitney Robison and thank you for tuning in once again. Every week I like to introduce to you spectacular CMU students or alumni who are doing amazing things. But this week we're going to step outside of the CMU community and into the world of health and fitness. My guest today is a 24 year old mother of two who has changed her life immensely by working out and eating healthy. Now I have Carice Phillips on the not on the phone. <laughs> I wish I had Chris on the phone, but Chris is with me here, even better than being on the phone. Um, so Chris, how much, okay, tell us about your transformation. What got you into health and fitness? Um, I was tired of being fat. <laughs> I feel ya. Please uh, don't rub it in. Wow, me too, dude. I, what's your secret? Like, tell me, like, how did you, how did you lose all this weight? And how much weight did you lose? Um, I started, from this transformation was 174 to 140. So that's like 34 pounds? Yeah, I don't do math good. So I was act I was pretending to do the math, but really you told me earlier. It's oh. This sounds smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but when I graduated high school, I was 205 pounds. So since high school, I've lost quite a bit. That's so. insane. And yeah. Wow. Yeah, so you knew me in high school. I was a little fatty. Yeah, so I've always been a little fatty, but I've just embraced it. So, yeah, but, so um, yeah, no, so I did the Gold's Gym 12 week challenge mm -hmm. in January <laughs> to April and I lost 30 and a half pounds. And then I did a NPC competition yeah. in September and I prepped for 15 weeks and didn't really lose any weight, just lost a lot of body fat and a lot of inches. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a lot of That's fun. That's what you were telling me earlier. You were like, like, yeah, I've lost like 34 pounds, but when you're prepping for the show, you just saw, you know, you didn't see any weight loss, but you no. saw your total body. You said yeah. uh, it's not what's on the scale, but it's like how good you yeah, feel. Yeah, I try like not that. to go by what's on the scale because it can, yeah. you know, you can look at somebody who's a one weight and someone else who's totally muscular and another weight, and it's just like they weigh the same. You're like, yeah. No. So, yeah, I tried not to focus too much on the scale. Had some freak out moments from my trainer. Uh, I was like, the scale's not moving. Yeah. She's like, don't, don't worry about the scale. I know, I'm pretty <laughs> sure my, my scale's like stained with tears. <laughs> So I just don't look at it anymore either. <laughs> hey, I mean, that works for you. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> um, I got this face going for me, so it's all right. There you go. Um, you how, did, how did your show go? And tell us about that. Like, a lot of people don't know about those shows. Um, it was really fun. I expected it to not be so friendly. Like, you know, you think people, a lot of people at the gym are vain in this industry. They're, yeah. they're vain. And... When I went in there, it was like some of the friendliest competition I've, the girls were friendly, the guys were nice, like everybody was helping everybody out, gluing suits, like it was amazing. I, yeah. It was such a great like experience for me for my first show. Yeah. Um, it was local, so it was smaller. Um, I wanted to start out like that. Um, but yeah, no, it was great. <laughs> I placed fourth for my, um, yeah, it's not really, it's by height. And yeah. so, um, but I placed fourth and I mean, for the first show, I felt like that was pretty good. In eight months, a lot of these girls have been doing it for a really long time, mm -hmm. and so for just eight months, and then to go in and place fourth was really great for me. Yeah. Wow, I feel like, you were saying how they're like in happy moods. I feel like I would be a complete grumpy mood if I had no food in my um, body. There were some times, because my husband did the show too, yeah. and I wanted to eat him sometimes. So, oh, yeah. and then I have two kids, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like hangry yeah. and I want to kill something, but I love you. <laughs> I know, seriously. Well, before we go on to um, keep talking, I forgot to ask if we could show the pictures of her transformation uh, video, or not video, but pictures. Wow, look at that. That is crazy. <laughs> you have transformed so much. Thank you. Like, you, are, I mean, you're beautiful in high school, but now you're even beautiful oh, now. So. Thank you. You're I welcome. I appreciate that, Whitney. <laughs> I wanted to show transformation pictures of myself today, but um, I left those at home, but maybe next week. Oh, yes. Um, They're great. So you have two kids. Two, yes. And when, when you had those kids, did you see, like, weight gain from that? Um, yeah, I gained about 25, 30 pounds with both of them, yeah. which is what they say is normal. But yeah. really, if I would have eaten a lot healthier, it wouldn't have been. It's easier said than done with the pregnancy cravings. Yeah. It's terrible. So, Dang. But yeah, um, after, it's just wanting to be healthy for yeah. my kids. I want to be able to keep up with them. I want to show them the exercise yeah. and eating healthy is important. 
Um, I just went to Disney World recently, and I was amazed at how many little kids were just totally obese. Mm -hmm. it's that's, that was me when I was a kid. Oh, shut up. It was not. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, like, it's mind-boggling, and I just, exercise wasn't big in my family. Like, literally, yeah. I took walking class in high school for a gym class. Like, I don't know what exercise is, and every yeah. time I did it, it was horrible. Like, I got hot and sweaty, yeah. and I didn't like it. So, this has been fun for me because I didn't know what I was doing back then so when I tried I failed every time mm -hmm. huge binge eater um, I don't do drugs I never drank alcohol I ate yeah. <laughs> I ate yeah. it was my addiction mm -hmm. like so that's a daily struggle <laughs> not wanting to eat my life but yeah so it's it's been quite I know I walk out of the gym at Gold's and I see Taco Bell across the street I'm just like oh my gosh you know what, oh, Gina's actually made me drive her through after we worked out on prep. I had to drive her through Taco Bell. Like, I'm dying here and you're eating Taco Bell. So. I know, my trainer were like specifically telling me, he's like, Whitney, don't you dare go to Taco Bell after this. And I'm like, I won't. You're like, no. Nope. <laughs> but uh, psych. how do you like, how do you balance, you know, working out your kids, your family, uh, your job? I haven't asked you where you worked, but. I don't yeah. work. I stay at home with Ooh, my kids. Nice. So, I mean, I do work all day. Yeah. 24 yeah. hours. That's um, the best job that there is, though. Staying yes. Home, no, yeah. I get to raise my kids, and yeah. that's great. Um, So, I go to the gym every morning at 4 o'clock till 6 o'clock while what? my kids are sleeping <laughs> and my husband's home sleeping. Yeah, yeah. And then he goes to the gym after work. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I wake up every morning at about 3.30 and I hit the gym. How, so, how, how do you like discipline yourself to get up that early? Like what started that regime? Um, during prep, I really didn't have a choice because I had to do an hour of fasted cardio. Yeah. So I would have to get up and go to the gym and at least do that. And then I could work out later in the day while my kids were taking their naps. Cause yeah. I'd really try and just go, I don't want to miss out on time with them. Even though this is something I like to do, I like to do it while they're sleeping. And yeah. so, um, the results. I know that if I don't get up and do it, yeah. that I'm going to backtrack and I will kick myself because I've come so far yeah. and I've worked. It is so hard to get skinny. It is a lot <laughs> of work. It is a lot of discipline and I don't want to backtrack because it's horrible. Yeah. Like I like seeing results. It makes me happy. I like being able to inspire and motivate other people yeah. and help them. I've had so many people come up. I've given meal plans and workouts and I'm like, hey, they're like, how much? I'm like, free because this is awesome. Yeah, like yeah. I get to help you. Like I know where you've been, I know how you feel, I know how hard it is. Getting my ass out of bed is not easy, mm -hmm. but I do it every day yeah. and it's it's nice. It's actually easier after you do it for like 30 days. Yeah, like it's that just makes easy. Sense. Like even on the weekends when I don't have to get up, my uh -huh. it just like internally I'm up at 3.30, I'm like, I need to go to the gym, but it doesn't open till seven. Okay, well, yeah. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> and that's why you were in bed by 8.30 last night. I was, I literally, both my kids go to bed between like 7.30 and eight yeah. and I was passed out by like 7.30 yeah. last night. I was like, dang, I wish I, I could fall asleep that quick. <laughs> I know, That's I'm sorry. Awesome. I was like, oops, my bad. That's right. Your husband texted me and I was like, Glenn, who's this? <laughs> like, I forgot you were married. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, but so do you think that you would have gotten to where you are today without your trainer? And you train with Russ, what's his last name? Alan. Yeah, do you think that you would have So had this for the 12 week challenge, I actually trained with Stuart Haynes. He works at Gold's yeah, Clifton. He's and my then, trainer. yes, and then from April till. My competition, I trained with Chelsea McNeil. Um, she mm -hmm. does oh, shows. Yeah, I know Chelsea. Yeah, she does shows, yeah. and so I used her. And then Russ is actually her trainer, and Glenn oh, gotcha. trained with him. And I wanted to be with the same trainer as Glenn because it's an accountability thing. He expects it's easier when your trainer expects the same thing, and you can both do it together. Mm -hmm. um, and it's nice to have him um, train both of us. So I'm actually with him, and I just started with him. So September 24th was my show. So that following Monday. So. Yeah. But he's a good trainer. He is no BS. And yeah, so it's awesome. But yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, for me, back in the day when I was all skinny, <laughs> which was like a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, my trainer, he helped me too. I don't know what I would do without him. I mean, um, you can definitely do things on your own, but it's nice to have that help. It's the accountability um, part of it. I have to send him pictures once a week. And if I do not eat correctly or anything, yeah. I'm going to get my butt reamed. Yeah. So it's an accountability yeah. thing. It's nice to have somebody there to look at you because you always see the negative. So, mm -hmm. well, that's yeah. awesome, Chris. I really appreciate you being on the show. Yeah, no um, that's all the time we have for today. <clears throat> I hope that your story, her story has motivated you guys at home and uh, sincerely, Take this um, story and use it to your own benefit. Thank you so much, Grand Junction. Have a good day. Stay safe What's and have fun.